Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you could automate COVID APIs and send a notification email when the vaccines are available. So this is a real challenge when you going through COVID portal and try to book with this program or with this method, you could automate this and you can get timely notification about uh, vaccines availability. So with this program, I booked slot for myself and I got a timely notifications. I got an email for uh, slots availability. Then I went through COVID portal and book there right so this is mainly for the developers or for the organization who are trying to implement this functionality so you could extend this functionality for more people the only thing you need one mail server uh, which would be having ability to send email to users and a server where you could run php jsp or any other server side language you could also run this on your local host and check how you could implement and then probably you can deploy this on the production so let me go through covin portal and uh, let you you know like which api we're going to use here and then probably it will give a better idea like what we want to implement and how should we proceed with this so i am on covin portal now and if you go there search by pin and if you put here any pin code let's see i have put a double one double zero three one and once you click here on search let me open a developer tool here and show you how this would actually work so once you click on search you will see this thing so this is xhr if you click here you, you will see status 200 type xhr xhr means xml http request okay and if you click here you will see all these preview response so this is basically an api call which is uh, taking pin code and based on date like you would see all these dates here so displaying results based on pin code and date so if you go here and click on the open apis you will see there are various other apis which you could use and you can develop application all right so if you see here covin public apis covin public apis to find appointment availability and to download vaccination certificates so you may also see temporary block if you are making more requests than what is mentioned here and here if you see all these apis appointment available api so in this program i will use this api v2 appointment session public find by pin and we will implement the solution so let's go back on the vs code and see how this can be implemented so before going through all this code let's first understand how we're gonna implement it and what strategy we will follow just to implement this solution so i'm not going to write all those bits because i have already written this code so first understand the strategy and then we will go through this so we had a look on covin api so what we will do we will make a xhr api call to covin api and this will give us a json data so once we get this json data we will make a ajax call to our processor and uh, this processor can be written in php jsp or any other server side script so that it can process the data and send email so the same thing we are going to implement so let's have a look on the code and then i'll explain how you can do it okay so let's understand this code first so here i have included uh, jquery uh, with the version 3 6.0 and here i have started javascript code so i have defined one variable json data to store uh, json which uh, we will get from covin api and uh, this is a document already function so i want this function uh, to be called at the first point when this page gets loaded here i have defined one variable get covin json and it's taking the function call which is taking url and callback and uh, here i have created a new xml http request so this xml http request object to exchange data with the uh, covin api and now uh, this method open method this is basically initializes a newly created request and it can also reinitialize existing one and in the response type uh, i have set as a json and this finally this onload functions onload function called when uh, this xml http request transaction complete successful so here i'm checking if the status is uh, 200 that means successful then call back otherwise put the status and response here and finally i'm sending this xhr so if i see this function function start point it's taking pin code and date because we saw in this api if you are taking a different pin code and different date then it will display results accordingly it will give you the uh, json data or, or it will give you result accordingly based on what pin code and date you are sending okay so i'm passing this uh, url here and uh, here i'm checking if there would be any save error then should print uh, kind of alert otherwise i'm storing this uh, data into the json data this json data is defined globally so finally once we get this data i'm sending this data to process it will basically uh, get the data get this json data and once it gets data it will make a ajax call to 
process.php so here you can specify a url this is basically a url string where i want to send request so i want to send request to process.php and uh, here you can specify type type of http request it could be post put get and uh, this is the data so this data is to be sent to the server uh, it can be json object a string or kind of any array so here i have converted this uh, object to a string and then i will be passing this to process.php uh, here finally i am just putting this data into the log if all this goes well and if uh, this gets data from the api and if this send is to process.php i should see this in console onto the web browser if you open the developer tool you could see all this data into the console okay let's have a look on process.php let me open that so in the process.php so this availability data was sent through this ajax call to process.php so what we are doing we are just storing this data into data variable which is a php data variable and at this point we are printing this data when we will make a ajax call to process.php in the developer tool you will see this uh, data so if you don't want to see this data into the developer tool you can exclude this step and now this is the important step this data variable is storing a json object you need to convert that json object to php object so to do that we are using this json underscore decode function or method and it will be taking this data variable this will convert this json object to php object so this is very important step and you need to understand because this would be storing a json object you can't process json object into the php object so you have to convert that into the php object now we have this php array and uh, we need to process array or we can say we need to traverse array and we can find with the keys so let me show you into this Covin API. Here you will see all these uh, key value pair, right? If you see in this call, you have center, address, block name, and then you have this uh, name, pin code. And here you have all this available capacity, date, min, age, limit, and all this, right? All this data is stored into the PHP array. And if we need to find any of this data, we have to traverse array with the key. And here I'm using this available capacity. Uh, you could use any of these. So here I have created search function, search available capacity. And uh, this is taking PHP array and search key, which would be available capacity. Now, this is a very simple for each loop where it would be searching with key value pair. And if it's fine with the search key, which is our available capacity, then it's doing something. So I have uh, put uh, one check here and uh, I have put age limit as 45 because I don't see any availability for 18. You could put uh, 18 if you want to have notification for age group 18. And then I will be storing with two variables. One is message to go and one is subject. So in the email, I want message to go as a district name and total availability along with center name with age limit and in the subject i would be putting vaccine availability then pin code and center name so this echo is optional once you make a ajax call from get.php it will print in the developer tool you will see that and finally i am passing this to send mail function which i have written here it's taking email id subject and message to go so in the two i have put this email id whatever we would be passing from here in the subject i have put this one and message to go whatever data we have put it here and then finally in a header i have put from reply to mi me version and content type in the email i want html content type so i have put text slash html and then finally i'm calling this mail function so once it gets ajax call from get.php it will store this data into data variable it will convert this json object to php array and then process this php array find with the key value and finally when we get this data it will send an email so i hope it's very clear what we are doing with get.php and process.php okay so let me run this code i have php installed in this system let me open a terminal and uh, let me start the php server so php hyphen s and localhost 8080 okay so uh, one thing to notice uh, you don't need to install xamp or any other kind of stuff if you have php installed then you can use this command php hyphen s then localhost 8080 and uh, this will start server okay so the server has started and if i go there so because our file is git.php if i click on this it will say not found so what we need to do we need to say get.php before doing this uh, let me show 
in the network tab so if i'm making this call here if you see in the preview you will see all these sessions right so whatever uh, data you would be having uh, you will get this back from covin uh, and uh, process.php if you see here it has all these data sent and uh, uh, because i have printed this data here i will see all this data here and finally because uh, if you see these errors you could ignore can't send a email from local host so it's, it's giving you warning fail to connect to mail server at local host port 25 but if you have server which is having all this functionality you could easily send an email i will show you after deploying on production in the code if i remove this print data then you won't see this if i make uh, this call again so this i have just called it again pin code uh, you will be having this data and process.php so here if you see because i have uh, commented these lines i've not i'm not printing this data so you can't see this here but i'm printing all this vaccine availability this eco subject and eco message to go so you can still see this here it's having a uh, two data availability like one for cnbc hospital and another one for chacha nehru bal chikitsala it's showing you this result and uh, for both time it's saying uh, fail to connect to mail server what i'm going to do now i'm going to deploy this code on uh, production so that i can show you that this functionality is working perfectly fine okay so i'm using my another website uh, just to show this implementation so i'm going in public html so this is production server kind of and uh, i've made this folder covin where i put this uh, get.php and process.php file if i go there and edit uh, you can see the code uh, whatever code i i shown you copy paste it so if i open this process.php uh, you can see the similar code here as well so basically i deployed all these uh, two files on this location if i want to access this file so what i'm going to do so this is uh, my website e4ed.com and uh, i have uh, put this in covin folder then get.php okay so let me open a developer tool here as well so that i can show you um, all this network data and uh, once i click here you will see this call so this i'm getting sessions so uh, this is not a local host you will see a live website and uh, here you will see all these sessions we got all these sessions uh, and address and uh, if we see here process.php so one thing you should notice that uh, you will not see this uh, mail error which uh, we were seeing on this uh, local host because here we won't be having this uh, production server which could send uh, an email so as i told you earlier we should be having kind of web server or server we should be having this ability to send an email and from local host you can't send email but uh, this is a production so uh, you can send an ht and that's why you didn't see that error here so if i go and refresh so if you you will see uh, i have got these two emails and if i if i say here uh, it has sent a notification from admin uh, at the rate reach.xyz and uh, total availability so whatever we have sent an email we got that right and similarly if you say here cnbc hospital uh, you will see that total availability 50 right so this is perfectly working fine so if you need to implement this for 18 and above then you can change this age limit here or you can put another condition or i mean if you have this data json data you can play it with easily so you can extend this function functionality to multiple people so i hope you got a basic idea like how you could implement this easily let me know in comment section if you have any issues and please subscribe my channel for all these latest video updates thanks for watching bye and take care